Pacific Bleeding Hearts, and this plant is native to the Pacific Northwest here, but now it's grown widely as an ornamental. It first became known to Europeans in 1792 during the Vancouver Expedition when a fellow named Archibald Menzies uh, took a sample of the plant and took it back to Europe with him and eventually gave some seed to a botanical garden there. The plant has these beautiful heart-shaped flowers that grow in a cluster at the end of a leafless stem. The leaves are really lacy and somewhat fern-like and they are a really gorgeous blue-green color. But I think one of the coolest parts about the plant are its seeds. It has seed pods with a bunch of little black seeds in it, but these little black seeds have a small globule of fat attached to each of these. And the purpose of that globule is to attract ants. So the ants take the seed and they carry it back to wherever their little hill is, and they end up planting more bleeding hearts there. So they disperse the, the seed for the plant. And it's kind of weird to think about. Are the ants growing the plants? Are the plants growing the ants? And then you take that to us. Do we grow plants or do plants grow us? <laughs>